great, great confidence, play fast, play hard, and it's a 60-minute game. We're going to go out there, take care of the first 30, and we'll come back and take care of the next 30. Those were Dave Christensen's words to his team prior to the opening game of the 2011 season. Words his team lived up to for eight wins this year. After the season, Christensen was named Mountain West Coach of the Year. The Cowboys are back to relevancy under the coach's leadership, and those around him have bought in to what he's doing up on the high plains. The bottom line is he's not going to cave much. He, he is passionate about how this program is supposed to work, how the kids are supposed to represent UW, and what we're supposed to look like on the field, and uh, he's pretty committed to it. I'm sure you're physical today, okay? Sound, 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 and everything that you do today. The one thing about Coach is he demands the best out of everybody. No matter what you think your skill level is, he gonna push you to get better. That's something that we all appreciate because uh, um, you know, he never accepts anything less than your best. And that's the only way that you can get better. Here we go, man, let's work, work, get better. Attention to detail, competitive as can be, uh, you know, and those two things together sometimes, you know, uh, he, he really gets going. And, uh, but you know, there's not one little thing that ever gets by him. Hey, when the ball snap, backpedal a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Come out in motion when the ball snap, do this. So you're a little deeper than him. And he promised us, you know, if, if we believe in, if we bond what he's selling, then, you know, most definitely we'll be able to play in the postseason. As you see, you know, we, we bought into what he was selling and we all enjoy success this year. Without him, this program wouldn't be where it is right now. Um, he demands discipline, he demands that you do things right on and off the field, and um, it doesn't matter if you're a walk-on or a scholarship senior. I mean, he brings guys in here that are going to compete, guys are going to want to win, guys are going to want to do what they have to do. And, I mean, he always instilled us in, in us that cowboy tough attitude and, and bringing it each and every day. The state of Wyoming has a great deal of pride and hard work ethic mentality. Christensen grasped that from day one and made sure his players represented the state in the same fashion on the field. It's important that they understand their heritage and, and, and what it means to the people in the state of Wyoming. Uh, the, you know, this is a blue collared state. Uh, it's very, you know, a very, very hard working uh, people um, that are disciplined, that are tough. And, and we wanted that mentality in our program uh, from the day I got here. And, uh, and we owe it to them to, to have build that kind of program and make the people of the state proud. And, and, and we try to do that in everything that we do in every day, of, uh, every day of our life. In three seasons under Christensen, the Cowboys have seen two bowl appearances, two Mountain West Freshmen of the Year, three straight victories over arch rival Colorado State, and now a Mountain West Coach of the Year, which are all great accolades, but the job isn't done. Now, considering where the program is at when, when we took over, I think we've made uh, good progress. And, and turn our program around and developing a, an attitude within the program of competitiveness uh, on a week in and week out basis. And uh, you know, it's, it's great to be where we're at, but uh, we're certainly not gonna stop there. And uh, you know, our goals are gonna become bigger and better as, as we continue to build. He's done a masterful job, but he's got more to do here. And he knows that and he wants to do it. He wants to leave Wyoming a much better program than when he took it over. It is better, there's no doubt about it. Christensen demands the best from his players and coaches every day they come to work. Competing to be the best is in his blood. And he plans to instill the winning attitude and mindset in every player who enters the Cowboy program in the future. Well, it's the only thing in this business that's worthwhile is winning. Losing is not fun. Uh, losing sucks. Uh, I'm an awful loser. Uh, I strive to win in everything I do, and, and that's what we want to build into our players. Uh, we talk to them constantly about competing in every phase of their life. You know, don't go to a class and take a test to get by. We want you to compete to be the best, to be the best student, to be the best in your class, to do the best on your test, to be the best in the weight room, to be the best off the field, to be the best in community service. Compete your tail off to be the best at everything you ever do. That's how I approach my life and that's how I want our players to approach their life.